Today I'm going to show you how to connect additional batteries to your Energy Flex system. First, check the state of charge on each battery. This battery is currently at 12.2 volts and the battery I want to add is at 10.9 volts. These two batteries are more than 0.8 volts apart, so they won't immediately enable and equalize. I want to use the system now, so I'm going to put the low battery on the bottom of the stack and engage the latches. Now I can start using my flex system. The top battery in the stack connects to the head unit almost immediately, but the bottom battery will not automatically enable until it comes within range. At this point, I can just use the system and the batteries will eventually come together and equalize. To run the power down, I'm going to cook some soup in my 12 volt crock pot. This crock pot only draws a small amount of power, so it will likely take a little while for the batteries to come within range of each other. While I'm at it, I'm going to power a few other things like my camera battery, laptop, smartphone, and my drill's lithium ion battery. These four devices are drawing only 250 watts or so. At this point, I could just walk away and the batteries will enable and equalize in a little while. But today I'm in a bit of a hurry, so I'm going to draw some real power with a resistive load from a hairdryer. Now we're pulling about 800 watts. At this rate of discharge, it doesn't take long for the battery to come in range of the bottom battery. The bottom battery enables and the system immediately begins equalizing. Now you can see the top battery is powering all of my devices and is sending power to the bottom battery to equalize it. As the batteries equalize, you'll see these stats on the top battery fall as the stats on the bottom battery rise. And after a little while, they'll reach total equilibrium and will function as a single expanded battery. If you have a little more time, you can add an additional battery through simply charging the system. First, check the state of charge of each battery by looking at the voltage again. We can see that the battery that is already connected is charged to 11.3 volts, and the battery we want to connect is at 12.4 volts. I don't need to use my system right now, so I'm going to leave the battery with the lowest state of charge, 11.3 volts, on top, and put the high battery at 12.4 volts on the bottom. I'll just set the whole power station on top and attach the latches, and then I'll plug in my quick wall charger into the blue EC8 solar input on my head unit. Now we can see the head unit turn on. And since I have two standard wall chargers, I can plug them into each battery to max out my charge rate. So now we'll see this battery increase until it comes within a range of 0.8 volts, which will be 11.6 volts. Then the second battery will enable and the two batteries will quickly equalize and act as one two kilowatt hour battery. Now that your batteries are connected, enabled and equalized, we recommend just leaving them connected. If you do need to separate them for some reason, you need to move it or you need to store it, simply repeat the steps we just showed you to reconnect and re-enable your expanded system. Now go have some fun. Enjoy having double the battery capacity and the longer runtimes that come with it.